We have our lovely MP. Where have you gone? Yeah. Oh, there you are. There's Robert and many other councillors, our local councillors here today. So thank you so much, Michael, from your Harlow. Thank you, Michael. And lots of other people. I'll probably forget someone. I do want to say now a very big thank you to Victor. Where's Victor hiding? There he is. Oh, he's hiding. Victor here was very much, he worked incredibly hard, very tedious doing all the Church of England stuff to get permission to put something on the wall. And he's worked fantastically hard and he also actually physically put it up and did the little thing for today. So thank you, Victor and Tony, who helped you as well. That was wonderful. So we do thank you for that. And thank you to our congregation who also raised the money to get the plaque made. So, we are going to do... And if, I could, if I could just say, Jackie, yeah, Victor has also invented this mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Which we hope will work. <laughs> Which, we, 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 Elsa and I are going to do this together. It's a real pleasure to be joined by Elsa to do this. Um, and we really appreciated your film. Could I also just say that I'm thinking, I'm sure we all are, of our mothers. Uh, I'm thinking of my mother, who was a white Russian emigre arrived in Britain in 1917 from the Russia that was then in revolution. So we're all appreciating history as we think today. And I'm also uh, thinking of my wife who is a minister in our church parish uh, on the other side of Essex. And one of our daughters is joining her for her service that she's leading right now. Oh, so bless you. All of us, I know, will be thinking of our mothers. And as Jokey said at the beginning, also thinking of the pain so it's a very special day for all of us. But now, Elsa and I are going to do our best to, <laughs> to, 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 to reveal <laughs> and to think that this uh, Pester Woodley is uniting us. She's brought us together, and 250 years ago, she's still with us and still inspiring us. Amen. Never forgotten. Never forgotten. Now. Yeah. Never forgotten. Yeah. Never forgotten. Never forgotten. Absolutely. Should we give it a go? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do this together? You hold it at the same time. This is not her grave. No. Okay, yeah. Uh, there we go. That's right. Yeah. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's see the words. Am I not a woman and a sister? These were the words of the uh, abolitionist movement. Esther Woodley died 1767, age 62. Enslaved woman, taken from the Caribbean. Mother, grandmother, buried here, loved by God, honored forever. It's wonderful and something that's really been close to my heart is it's one of the frustrations that we have being a small church that we can't be open all the time. <coughs> so people come down here looking for Hester's gravestone and then they can't get in the church. We're working on that one. But now there will be something here and also Victor's made a wonderful um, sort of explanatory thing that tells you more about Hester and where the stone is. And so now everyone, and we have this lovely new estate, we have our new sculpture of the opening onto the estate, we have loads of people now walking through and every one of those are going to see that plaque and know about the history here and about Hester. So she is not forgotten. Uh, just, we are hoping, Barbara and I have been trying to organise, haven't we, a visit from the year two at Pemberley, who are the school that I'm a governor of in Hester Mews, just near to Hester House we saw on the film. And they have been learning all about Hester. All the children in the local schools, we hope, know about Hester, but I know that Pemberley do, because I make sure of it. And they're going to come, and actually I'm quite glad it's been delayed. I reckon that was a God thing, because now they're all going to see the plaque which is marvellous. So, I'm just going to say a few words of dedication. Heavenly Father, we remember here a child of God whose real name is known to you, but who we know as Hester Woodley. You loved her, and we honour her memory here in this holy place 
where she and her family members once walked and worshipped and where they were buried. Once again, we repent for all the brokenness and sadness in that story, but we hope that this will be a little gesture towards making Hester's story even more well known. May she and her descendants rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Amen.